Music has always been a part of Lisa McClowry's life from the time she was a toddler growing up in Illinois. I was born on the south side of Chicago. I come from a family of five kids. Mom and dad are still married, an Irish Catholic family. And if you ask my mom, she would say that I started to get interested in music at the age of two, because I would go to the radio and sing and dance, whether it was on or off, that's what I would do. Um, at about age seven, I started showing interest in the piano. My grandma would teach me piano, and I wanted to be the next Marvin Hamlish, you know, because she'd always play the sting. In high school, McClowry was part of a rock band, and she even performed at her own prom. She went on to perform in professional theater and then moved to Los Angeles. Thank you so much! Give it up for our show, girls. Come on! I had an L.A. chapter where I went to L.A. to write and sing in movies. So I've written some uh, original music, original albums that I released that were released on Smooth Jazz Radio. And um, I wrote a song and sang a song in the movie The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. The, the song was called Through the Eyes of a Child. Oh, and, um, it's just kind of the, same, the, the theme of my life because um, I'm very family oriented and most of the music that I've written or want to put out there is to connect people and bring families together and um, just highlight that, highlight the beauty of family. Eventually, McClowry began developing her own stage shows. One called Rock the 80s and one called The Beat Goes On. And that's how I became Cher, that's how I started to get into being Cher because in my Rock the 80s show, I would sound like the various artists, like a Madonna or um, Stevie Nicks or Steve Perry. And I would, when I did share, people really took extra notice and said, have you thought about being a tribute artist? So I said, what's that? Never even heard of a tribute artist. And that led me to the path of auditioning for Legends. And um, so here we are. I'm playing this fantastic role that I never expected to play. And um, she's a courageous artist, and she's paved the way for so many of us that I feel lucky to, to get to play her night after night. McClowry's favorite song to perform is also a big hit with the audience. I think the most iconic song, the most powerful song for, for me uh, performing a Cher set would be If I Could Turn Back Time because I think it's one of her most iconic and when I do a legend show that's usually the first song that I do coming out and uh, it's fun to hear the gasps and people, you know, I like that excitement. Of course, one of her most favorite songs to perform is I Got You, Babe. And she makes it a duet with a volunteer from the audience. So put your virtual head in mind. There ain't no hell mountain we can climb. Everybody now, group sing, come on, here it is. Yeah. I got you, babe. Like with a really big ending, you're gonna go nuts like an opera singer. I've got you, babe. Like most entertainers today, Lisa McClowry counts herself lucky to be performing for a live audience. What I feel about performing now during this time, during the pandemic, um, extremely blessed that I have the opportunity to do this. There's so many entertainers and people just not working. And um, I get to do what I love night after night. And I feel part of my job is to help people escape reality. And uh, I invite them to take a step into nostalgia 
and um, tap into the synergy that's going on in the room that only uh, live entertainment can provide, I believe. Um, it's that relationship between the band, the dancers, the artists, and the audience just creating this unique energy that you can't get anywhere else. So come escape with us is my invitation. Audiences can celebrate Vegas at Legends in Concert OWA through May 30th.